Hello 282 friends, it's Miss Rodriguez, and today I'm going to read you a story called Clink by Kelly DiPuccio and by Matthew Myers. Oh, I love robots, just by the way. It's my favorite. As far as robots go, Clink had his fair share of problems. He was rusty, even his dust had rust. He was squeaky, even his creaks made squeaks. And a day didn't pass without something falling off. Plink, pop, ping. But the problem that made Clink's dials drop and his circuits short out was nobody wanted an old robot. So everybody's excited about things that are new. But nobody's interested in Clink. He didn't have cool retractable arms like Zippy. He didn't have fancy attachments like Blade. And he didn't know the first thing about doing homework and baking chocolate chip cookies like Penny. The world, it seemed, no longer interested in a robot who had been programmed to play music and make toast. Those robots are pretty fancy. When people came into the store, they marveled at Zippy's ability to pick up dirty laundry and play baseball at the same time. When Clink tried to do the same, everybody just laughed. Zippy can come over to my house. I need laundry and baseball. Every day, Blade wowed the customers, snipping and shaping of one-of-a-kind hairstyles. When Clink showed off his clipping skills, the results were usually disastrous. There's Blade, and there's Clink. And when the children lined up around the store to sample one of Penny's warm chocolate chip cookies, nobody, not even the store mice, seemed interested in Clink's dry toast. At night, when the store was closed for the evening, the other robots tried their best to keep Clink's spirits up. Penny gave him cookies, Blade gave him a makeover, and Z Zippy gave him a pair of underpants. He meant well. Look at all of his robot friends. They're being very kind to him. One by one, Clink watched his friends go home with happy families. He hadn't been programmed to cry, but somehow he linked rusty tears every time. And then something inside that old robot broke and he simply switched off his speakers and gave up. It's goodbye, my friends. Oh no, how are we gonna help Clink? Many weeks later, a young boy came into the store. It was the same boy who'd stopped by every week to look around, but never bought a thing. Nevertheless, the proud shopkeeper always welcomed an opportunity to show off his brightest and best new robots. Behold, the amazing Colossal Bot. Too big, said the boy. Twinkie? Too pinky. Bongo? Too bouncy. Nothing the shopkeeper showed him was just right. The boy was about to leave when Clink heard the happy hum of music. Suddenly, the squeaky gears in his head began to turn again, and he got an idea. Clink stood up tall, brushed off the dust and cobwebs. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? And belted out a head bopping, toast popping, show stopping tune. The song was old fashioned and crackled with static but there was pure joy in every note. The boy turned around. Do, 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 do. What? The old robot had never danced before, but now he was twisting and twirling, knocking over boxes and topping displays. At last, Clink had caught someone's eye, but then... Uh-oh, something doesn't seem right. Plong ping. A rusty spring hit the young customer square in the forehead. The music stopped. If robots could blush, Clink would have turned a hot shade of fire engine red. Oh no. We've all gotten bumps on our head before, haven't we? Oh, so sorry, cried the shopkeeper. I've never seen him act like that before. Wait, said the boy. May I see him first? This troublemaker... The shopkeeper handed Clink to the boy. He 
He's very old. He's missing parts. The boy's eyes lit up. He's perfect. I'm perfect, thought Clink. It had been a very long time since anybody had thought he was perfect. Clink smiled. Blink pop. The boy ducked. I'll take him, he said. And so, as far as robots go, Clink had his fair share of good luck, too. He went home with his new friend, Milton, who, as it turns out, likes burnt toast, is great at fixing things, and... loves to dance. Oh, so a happy ending for our friend Clink. You know, whatever's going on, you are perfect as you are. You're not too bouncy, too spinny, too pinky, too anything. You are perfect as you are, and I need you to remember that, okay? So be kind, do your best, and have fun, and take care of your grown-ups. I'll see you next time.